Well, I thought I was about ready to go fly with this sucker after getting it in the mail yesterday and started reading the manual and all of a sudden as a brand new newbie spanking new to flying drones, I realized there's a lot more to it than just pushing some buttons and getting it in the air. And that's what this video is all about. You can watch me flail through firmware updates, upgrading battery firmware, who would have thought, right? and sticking FAA numbers on the drone. That's what this is all about. And a little bit of tech support mixed in there right after quote of the day. Hello everybody, I'm Rusty Nelson and welcome to my gallery here in Kennett Square, PA. If you're ever in the area, please drop by. Um, today, I, I was going to go fly the drone. Uh, luckily, it's raining so I don't feel too bad. But I was going to go fly the drone for the first time, but then all of a sudden I realized that there are a lot of things that you need to do prior to actually flying the drone for the first time. And that's kind of what I'm going to go through today, what I'm going through or what I'm doing and some of the settings that I'm going to put in, uh, especially to the fact that this is the first time that I've ever flown a drone and obviously the first time that I've ever flown this. So being an ex-Air Force pilot, um, I'm kind of used to following regs and looking through the regs and the manuals and I thought, oh, this can't be that hard to go fly. But what I realized when I flashed back to the Air Force was that they would tell you in flight school, hey, the airplane's easy to fly. It's when things go wrong that the real pilots come out of the woodwork. And that's kind of the way all of a sudden I put on the brakes and thought, you know what? I'm just going to make a video about the things that I've done before I actually went and flew. And that's what this one's all about. So let's get started. The first thing I want to say is uh, register the drone. Uh, you may not think it's a big deal, but eventually down the road, registering your drone is going to become a big deal. And also, very soon, there's going to be testing uh, for all drone pilots, and you're going to have to have that uh, verification of testing with you. Um, I did make a video. I'll put the link or whatever right up above here if you want to go watch that on when I actually registered the drone. But that has to be affixed to the drone itself. Before I get started, I just want to say something. The cord itself, I'd actually like to have it over on the other side for myself. So I will go back and order a left hand versus right hand or whatever way it was. And I'll go ahead and put the links down below. I get most of my stuff from Amazon uh, down below. And you guys can if you use those links. It helps me out also. Also, what I did was load up the Autel app. And also, I charged everything. Now, I did order a couple new batteries. And just to let you know, for some reason, it took an extremely long time to charge the controller up. And the batteries definitely took longer than 90 minutes. There's no doubt about that. But when I went back to recharge the last battery, it was about half full. And it took hardly any time at all. So I know there's a small brain in the charger. Maybe you just need to reset that, unplug it, and reset it if it's charging slow. Next, I removed the propellers. There's small little locks and marks on there, so it kind of makes that easy. I'm going to turn on the controller. New firmware detected, so let's go ahead and upgrade that. Download and I have a feeling this is going to take a while. So let's see what happens Downloading and I'm going to put us on hold. Well, it's going through it pretty quick downloading firm firmware 25% done already While this is doing this I'm going to go back over and talk for a second. I did this without the drone actually on so you may want to try it with the drone on so what's happening here is it's actually downloading and updating 
the controller itself. And you'll see in a second here, I'm going to go back on and after this is done, I'll go back in and turn on the drone itself and then it will begin to update the drone. I may have done this wrong. I may, I, I maybe I was supposed to have uh, the drone on first, but hey, it's my first time through this and we'll go ahead and make mistakes together, that's for sure. So the upper screen says sent firmware successfully. Check the upgrade status on the remote control. And that says upgrading firmware. Do not turn off aircraft. Keep aircraft connected to the remote. Estimated time remaining four minutes. All right, so upgrade successful. I'm going to reboot the remote control and then I'm going to start up the aircraft and see what happens. I know in the manual it says to always have the controller working first. Controller. All right, I feel like I just woke up Frankenstein. <laughs> now here comes the account part. So log in. That's great, we're logged in. Going to my devices. No devices have been found. Buy one, let's go bind your device, see what happens. Um, bind. Finish. What I'm going to do right now is jump right in in the middle of this. You can see my stuff in the background where I was recording this. And go ahead and tell you this is where I made a mistake. So there's no sense in going further with what I did. You actually need at this point, well, this is with the first battery, go ahead and upgrade this. Hit the upgrade button and I'll come back to it in a second. And start the upgrade. And what you're going to do is upgrade the aircraft and battery combination. And you need to do this with each battery. So I had three batteries and you have to do it three times. And you're going to see in a second where I actually had a problem and it locked up. And what happened when I called tech support was really cool. They were on the phone in about two seconds, told me how to solve the problem, went through and did it. Jump back in. All right, so I turned the unit back on and went back to the front page. And it says download successful 2.223, upgrade now. Now, I'm not 100% sure whether it already did that or whether we have to do it again. Like I said, starting upload. Um, sending firmware, 0%. I have a strange feeling that I already did this, but um, now I'm doing this with the aircraft on is the difference. And it is doing something different. It is flashing on the aircraft. So, uh, We'll see what happens with this. I have a feeling before it upgraded the controller and that was about it. And I probably should have had the aircraft on at the same time with the other. But uh, we'll find out how that goes. All right, this is what I got. Failed to send firmware, reboot aircraft, and try again. So let's try this again. All right, this is what I believe is going on here right now. It failed once, so what it's doing is unpacking the information and downloading it onto the controller and updating the controller. Then it goes out and reaches out to the drone itself and updates the drone. The first time through that it does this, it will update the drone and the current battery that's in there. I believe this is what's happening. Then when you go back and every time you put in a new battery, it will actually update the battery itself and you need to do this for each new battery that you get and for every firmware that you get now let's take a look what happens when it finishes and what happens when i have a problem with about three minutes left to go it said uh <laughs> that it had three minutes left to go and then all of a sudden bam it came on upgrade successful Reboot RC and aircraft before use. All right, I put in a third battery, rebooted it, and upgrade now came up. 
So let's see whether this goes through the same thing. Upgrade successful, reboot RC and aircraft before use. So that's what I did. I rebooted the whole system and I grabbed the second battery that I had done because I realized that I hadn't actually updated it when I put it in. And this is where the first problem, big problem began. Put the battery in after it had been rebooted and fired it up and went through the whole thing. And it got to right what you're looking at right now, one second and 99%, and it's stuck there. Now, I, anybody that's done any upgrading before, right in the middle of a firmware upgrade, you do not want to reboot. So I called Autel, and the guy that actually does the um, videos on there for Autel came on, and I talked to him for a second, and he said, just go back and manually do it with the card, and update the firmware. And I said, well, can I just try this again? And he said, yeah, just turn it all off. It won't be a problem. So if you run into this problem, I'm just passing along what Autel said, is go ahead and turn off the drone, turn off the controller, and reboot it back up and start over again. And when I did that the second time, I had absolutely no problem. What I also want to say is I did call the number and it literally took less than 30 seconds for Autel to get on there with their tech support. And being the fact that there are a bunch of new drones out there right now, I was very much surprised. So thanks to Autel for that one. Oh man, that's about as dry as you can get. And uh, unfortunately, I think it's a necessary evil like I said before, being an ex-Air Force pilot, um, I, I realize that we're standing on the ground and we're flying these things around. But after I felt the weight of that thing, if anybody ever got hit by that or you flew in a bad area, like I'm right out near a heliport right here, um, you can do some serious damage. So even though these drones are a lot of fun, uh, I really take to heart trying to make sure that the firmware is updated um, and that nobody gets hurt because the safer we are with these drones now and follow the regulations, the easier time we're going to have down the road and the less flying rights that we'll lose eventually. So registering your drone was the first thing out of the chute for me. Next was to download the app itself onto uh, my iPhone. And also, while that's going on, recharging everything as per the manual to make sure these batteries are fully charged. Like it says, don't fly unless they're fully charged, along with the controller. And I know these batteries are pretty temperamental, so you definitely don't want to uh, treat them by starting out halfway, running them all the way down. Um, and then they also say you should charge them every three months. Then in the video, what we did was, and I thought I was doing it the right way by just updating the controller. Maybe, maybe I am did it the right way. Uh, please let me know down in the comments as a newbie. Uh, I'd really love to know and you'd be helping out some other people if you know for sure. But the way I ended up doing it was to update the controller first and um, then turn on the drone and update the drone and the drone also updates the batteries with the firmware. What you need to understand is you need to put in, if you have a new firmware update um, or you get a new battery, you need to put that in and go through the process of updating that uh, each battery for the firmware because they're like a little computer themselves Anyway, I can't wait to get out and go fly this thing. I'm really excited. I hope you join me for that Thank you so much for joining me on this one the subscription. Sorry about the cars uh, The subscriptions on on the on this channel really help out a lot because I don't have a bunch So it kind of gets some of this stuff out there 
Uh, also, ringing that bell, even if you don't subscribe, just hit the bell that you like it. That takes two seconds. Surely appreciate it. I did say that I'm gonna put a couple of links down in below. So, uh, especially for like this one cable, uh, what I'm using, because it obviously works. And realizing that there was a left hand and a right hand, uh, that'll be through Amazon. Really appreciate you using that. In any case, as I always say, my camera is my best excuse for adventure. It's really gotten me into this. I would have never have done this if it wasn't for the still camera because that's what I plan on doing with this. So please go ahead, join me on my next, next adventure as I get out there and fly this thing. And uh, any suggestions down in the comments, I surely appreciate it. Thank you so much for dropping by. I'll see you, bye.